So we've talked about how surgery happens, what a cataract is, and now I want to discuss with you different options or opportunities that you have for what type of lens we decide to put back in that M&M candy shell, if you would. So there are different kinds of lenses, and if you'll go back to um, my first, one of the first videos that you watched, your lens is responsible for two things. One is clarity, which is what we're dealing with now, loss of clarity with that cataract. But two is flexibility. And we lost flexibility way before our lens typically gets hardened and discolored. That flexibility is super important for us to have seamless near vision, intermediate distance, and just do this. When we were young, we had no issues doing that. And then the after 40 thing usually kicks in and we start needing to make up for our lack of flexibility as these proteins in this lens got harder. We needed to make up for that lack of flexibility with reading glasses. And then every year, not only did we need stronger reading glasses, we moved from reading glasses to bifocals to trifocals to progressives because this lens used to be really flexible. So now we're here today talking about two issues that your lens used to do very well. And well, how does that go into what lens we decide to put in? Because you have some options on how you want to use your vision at the time of cataract surgery. So many options, I know. But a really important thing for us to talk about because you only get this opportunity once in your lifetime and it's right now at the time of cataract surgery to replace that protein with a lens that not only can do clarity, but can do clarity and flexibility. So let's talk about that. Basic cataract surgery is when we put a lens in there simply to help with clarity. You still need your glasses for best distance, intermediate, and up close. On the other end of the spectrum is an option we call optimized vision. And that optimized vision means not only we're gonna put a lens in that goes after clarity, we're gonna put a lens in that's gonna help you give pseudo flexibility back to that, uh, to your eye. Meaning we're gonna do everything we can to maximize your independence from your glasses. So basic surgery, we're still going to be maximally dependent on our glasses, especially for our reading. Optimized surgery, we're going to do everything we can to also minimize the need for glasses for distance, intermediate, and up close. There's a third option that hits in between basic uh, implant or cataract surgery and optimized lens implants or cataract surgery. There's one in the middle. This one goes maximal glasses, minimal glasses, and in the middle there's kind of a medium glasses where we're going after best distance correction. This middle option makes sure that we're targeting and making sure that out there is as crisp as it can be without the need for your glasses. Yes, you'll still need your glasses for you know, intermediate and up close, but it gives you that freedom for things like, hey, I just want to go out and drive with my sunglasses. I want to go out for a walk with those. Um, I want to go hunting or golfing. I just want to see that ball out there. That's kind of your, your middle ground, if you would. You'll still need those readers different than the op maximally optimized, but you'll still be free from them for distance. Um, things like watching the TV across the room. So still high value and very beneficial. 